hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's your boy Zeno's concept and we're here with another tutorial and so in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to use the blend if effect in photoshop many of us as designers we know how to use this effect but this is just how to add effect to your images or your design to make it more spicy you know something like that and then we're gonna get into the fun fact we're gonna learn how to mix it with other images how to apply it on photos how to add it to your backgrounds and so on and so forth okay so let's dive into today's tutorial so let's go and i'll show you how i add those texture backgrounds on my photos or designs on instagram so after each and every design in photoshop i do have a collection of texture backgrounds which i normally add to it using the blend modes or either i use the blend diff okay so let's go with the blend diff option first now the blend if option comes up after I right click and I go to blending options and then I use this tab here this blend if tab here and this is what I do I press alt which is I hold down alt and I click on this black section here I drag it to the end and then I click on the white section drag it to the other end now you can see that the background has this smoky or texture kind of effect after doing that I want to make sure that everything is clear because I can see some kind of gray kind of effect on the background which is not fair so it's either I play with this one on top this layer or this underlying layer it all deals with two so I press alt click and drag until I see everything very clearly and this is what I do if I'm using a blend if now if I do the same for the white I think everything will disappear but you might still have a texture but I want the texture to be noticeable so yeah this is it you have your cool effect you can see that the background is kind of very texture like it has this polythene type of effect to it in this design okay so that is for blend if now what if we're using the blend modes which we have here now for the blend mode this is what I do I go to overlay Wow, that was fast and then I go to fill I reduce the fill to maybe about 40 or uh, let's just say yeah 24 percent or any percentage you know that will be nice and there you have it so the blend if can give you this effect which is the one you saw previously and then the blend modes can give it this effect but it doesn't end there because blend modes there are lots of blend modes it's either you use overlay you have the soft lights you have the hard you have the linear light and but most importantly what we want these blend modes to give us is something that can affect the design so it's just adding texture to the design and i think that the overlay section will be nice for it because when you go to overlay you can either reduce the fill and it gives you the effect correctly but if you go to other blend options it will give you some but it might work well because it depends on the color like this color you can see blue and red uh, maybe purple and yeah you can see how the effect came out so it's either you use the blend if option or the blend modes okay let's see for this other design now so I do have another texture here and this is what I did I just added overlay to the texture overlay and I reduce the fill to 60 okay now let me just duplicate this and if I change it back to normal and I increase the fill and then I double click yeah double click and then go to blend if we can hold 
halt then we drag this black this way and we drag this white this way and then we drag this black this way you can see we still have the texture here noticeable here and here but in the background it's not that noticeable too yeah it's not that noticeable in the background so i believe that if you're using the blend the blend mode you can get something out with overlay and if you're using the blend if you can still get something so i so possibly the the both of them goes hand in hand depends on the design that you are going to do depends on the color that you want to pop out when you finish adding the texture to the design okay so um this is how i create the simple mockups so plainly i do have the photo here and i have the texture in both white and in a dark version so i have the white version on the the design so i clip the design into the white version and then the i add that effect which is the overlay to the black version on top and yeah this is how i create the little mockup for uploads and beneath it i add a shadow to it to make it look realistic so it's either you add by double clicking and then i go to drop shadow yeah you reduce the pasty little maybe you want it to be this way or that way it depends there are different ways of creating um shadows it's just to your taste you gotta create like this yeah something like this no too much yeah so you can reduce the distance and you can reduce the opacity a little then maybe you can add a gradient effect to this you double click then you add the, the gradient effect yeah not that gradient effect okay so this is plainly how i do those tiny tiny mock-ups on instagram this is just plainly how i do them i just use textures play with the shadow and you create this effect now um for you creating multiple multiple mock-ups on this on um photoshop um this is what you do you have this image okay and you right click and you create a smart object of that image so what i want to do is i want to create multiple um, mockups of this like okay so this will be here okay now there is a shortcut for you to copy in photoshop if you press alt and you have this three highlighted if you click and drag it will duplicate on its own nice duplicate on its own okay so we have this as a copy so what if i want to place an image like a repetitive image on it i want to change the image of this the first one here and to affect this remember i already changed this into a smart object so if i click on any of these ones and let's just say I want to add maybe this design drag into Photoshop. Yeah, wait for it to load. Okay. Press enter. Then I save. Control S and then I exit. Now you see that it recognizes it because I have already changed that layer into a smart object so any effect i have on that image it goes to the one i add after 
editing the smart object okay so this is plainly how you can do a simple mock-up in Photoshop so over to this design we're not going to be adding uh, a paper like texture we're going to be adding a metal like texture to this design so after designing this I thought about adding a uh, paper texture but I decided not to because it's talking about a car service so I decided to add a metal effect to it so I downloaded this texture online yeah this texture and I decided to add it on top of it so this is what I did I added the texture and then I went to overlay yeah effect and it gave me this now you can see how the texture is on the design yeah it gives it that kind of shiny kind of look and yeah this is just the short tutorial on how to use Blendiv so Blendiv actually it's, it's fun to use I believe you can try it out Blendiv is a very very good effect on Photoshop yeah okay so I think that will be the end of this tutorial because it wasn't supposed to be long yeah it's just a simple basic thing so what I'll be adding after this tutorial will be a link to different textures and maybe metallic effect that I have on my database yeah or what I have on my file I'll just add that to a link in the description below and yeah this is the end of the first series of my YouTube yeah that's cool so the next series will be doing basic tutorial from now I record the process of how I do my designs and how I come up with the ideas and also we will go from time to time to design great things and we will be going on different fun yeah fun design and let's not forget always have fun when you're designing don't be like heavy hearted when you're designing make sure you're free you are at ease when designing because it really helps you create wonderful things okay so uh you guys should take care and don't forget to like share and subscribe okay guys so thank you for sticking to the end of the tutorial and peace out <laughs>